Hey, what's up? April Duran here at the Vintage Vault in Upland, and I am with... Cameron. Cameron. All right. You are part of the family here at the Vintage Vault, correct? I am, yeah. So my company is Seville Revintage, Uh huh. and uh, I've been here since about the beginning of summer, maybe July. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Although I'm very new here, too. This is only my second time, but I love okay. your corner. Thank Those you. jackets that you have hanging there, the lunchbox, <laughs> very amazing pieces. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, love them. I, I put all my, my Ca- heart into them. So. Oh, I bet. Cameron, that's what I was going to ask you. How did you start this journey? Oh, okay. So I've been collecting vintage bed sheets since I was about 15. Interesting. So 15 okay. Years now. So when you say vintage bed sheets, mm-hmm. are we talking about? Uh, characters or labels or the whole bit yeah I mean the it's it's the character bed sheets for the most part I started with Star Wars so it's a big Star oh, Wars fan yes and um, I've just always loved vintage stuff mm-hmm. and so I just kind of got big into like I don't know. That's just a fun kind of nostalgia for me. That's super know? unique. <laughs> I have never heard of anyone actually you know you know collecting vintage sheets that is so cool because i know when i see certain prints of sheets it brings me back you know like to my childhood or to my teenage years Mm. so and then you said star wars and i remember this is a funny joke star wars when it came out i was so mad because i wanted to live in star wars and i was so upset i wasn't born in the star wars years i asked my mom how come i wasn't born in the star wars years (laughs) so you started with sheets and then it just kind of carried on or yeah i started with sheets and i made for my friend one year um, a a flannel shirt with Uh some patches on it I was Uh like oh I really want to get him something unique and special and I just decided to cut up one of my sheets and Uh sew it onto this flannel shirt and (laughs) then whenever we would go anywhere we would get stopped by so many people who were complimenting and saying oh my god where did you get that and when I told them I'd make them, they just, I kept getting over and over. You have to make these and you have to sell these. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And so with the, was it the Star Wars mm-hmm. thing that you put? Which, which character was it? it? Do you remember? It was Han Solo on the back, I believe. Uh-huh. Han Solo, maybe, a, I think it had three or four patches. Uh-huh. Um, Han Solo, maybe a TIE fighter and... I think it was Chewbacca also. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All the best. <laughs> yeah. Chewbacca. I remember Chewbacca was my favorite. Um, oh, Boba Fett was always my mm. favorite. I just had this thing for him, and it was so cool to see uh, the Mandalorian come out. I was just like, what? Yeah. Wait, is that correct? That's correct, right? They're the same? Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Kind of. You're right, right. Yeah, see, because I know I'm not a, I love Star Wars, but I don't know the details. So sometimes you could upset people if you like say certain things are like, no, because like Baby Yoda, that's, or that's not even Yoda, right? Right, just, right. <laughs> I, my son was the one who corrected me on that. So I also noticed lunch pails and you had gorgeous vintage jackets. Well, you know, oh, where do you find you. these things? Um, my mom's been collecting lunch pails since she was a kid. So How old's your mom? Always, she is, I probably shouldn't say, but <laughs> <laughs> she uh, was born in the 60s. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was born in the 70s. Yeah. So that's why I remember having lunch pails when I yeah. went to school. Uh-huh. Uh, she, she loves them. Strawberry so. shortcake, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you name it. I had all those, those lunch pails. Yeah. And so that just kind of, uh, you know, came on over to me because we would go out like thrifting. and. Uh, Where would you go, go to, thrifting? The, um, we would go mostly to like the big flea markets and stuff, mm-hmm. but then also thrift stores and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she would just always explain to me the, the different lunch boxes, and I got really into them too. And that's when I started getting into the sheets also. But. That is so cool. The sheets, that's so unique. I don't think I've ever interviewed anybody in any, you know, so mm-hmm. I'm sure you get a lot of comments about that and stuff with the sheets. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's super cool. A lot of people, they don't they don't understand until I explain to them what it is. And then, uh-huh. then they, it kind of takes a minute. What? What, what? Wait, what? Can you still find? Can you still find vintage sheets? Yeah, I mean they're they're a little hard to come by, but now like, they are, huh? Yeah, it, at least in good condition. So uh-huh. it, there are some that are super common that I'll see the same ones over and over, and uh-huh. it's pretty rare for me to see one that is like, wow, I've never seen that before. You right? Know? Yeah. So cool. So where can we find you? Where are your socials? Um. So my social is Seville Revantage, um, on Instagram and. 
I guess that's all that I have right now. Uh -huh. I have a website that's coming, SevilleRevintage.com. Excellent. Um, and um, I guess I never actually even said, but I make I make patches out of vintage bed sheets. They're iron-on patches. So cool. You can put them onto your jackets or backpacks, sweatshirts, T-shirts. Um, and then uh, I also sell pre-made pieces. Well, so. Yes, and she is located right when you walk into the Vintage Vault here in Upland. You walk in straight, and she is just off a little to the left, right, in the corner? Yeah, exactly, yes. with, uh, the, with the brick wall. With the brick wall. <laughs> so it is, I mean, eye-catching stuff, very different, really Thank cool you. things. Thank you so much. Yes, so you need to check her out, Seville Revintage, and any shout-outs before we go? Um, Shout-out to my mom. And to my boyfriend and to the rest of my family. <laughs> oh, my friend, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just everyone in my life has been so crucial for this. But, but particularly my boyfriend, who's always been encouraging me um, to, to push myself with my business. And my mom, who's just lovely and also always pushing me to... To do what it is that makes me happy. Excellent. Seville so <laughs> Revintage right here in the Vintage Vault in Upland. Thank you so much, Catherine. Ka Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you, too.